Ghana, I attended Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, where I did uh, my bachelor's in food science and technology. And from there, I went on to be a research assistant where I worked under a food systems chemistry professor. Professor Ofosu, he actually ignited my passion in food safety. So that's why I came over to Queens to come and do my master's in advanced food safety. My thinking behind choosing a university was looking at the credibility of the university and the research intensity of the university because I like research. Queen's is part of the Russell Group University that's top 24 universities in the UK that are research intensive. Prof. Christopher Elliott, he's actually a very big man when it comes to food safety. He's the founder of Institute for Global Food Security. So coming here, the opportunity for me to learn under him is, um, is the big thing that everybody, every new upcoming researcher will aspire to. So he's, he was one of the people that inspired me to come to Queen's. The module we are on is the Advanced Food Bioanalysis. One thing I like about these modules is that you get about six different uh, lecturers teaching the same module. So that means that every lecturer is teaching where he or she has a specific interest in and you get to learn how, um, what is on the ground. So it's not any abstract thing. So they come to present their research experience, research that's ongoing, um, safety issues that is ongoing around the world. The research component of the second module, that's what I'm doing currently, the food bioanalysis, you get to appreciate the state of the art laboratory facilities that Queen's has. When it comes to the GCMS, when it comes to ELISA technology, when it comes to biosensors and all that, you get to experience all these state of the art equipment and it actually exposes you to research. If you're a researcher, if you want a place to get hands on, technique on research equipment, this is the right place to be because the, the, the research equipment here are very modern. So in Ghana, one thing that uh, is actually affecting us a lot is mycotoxin um, poison or mycotoxins and pesticide residues. And here, Professor McMoney is into that. He, he works into con food contamination. He was the first person who taught, who taught us on the first module. So you get to appreciate how to do mycotoxin analysis. That's one main analysis that even back home uh, we do. So you get to appreciate how to do mycotoxin analysis, pesticide residue analysis to apply way back in Ghana because that is one thing that is uh, affecting our food supply chain. After I get my PhD, I would like to go back to Africa. The research experience that I get, I go and implement it. I would like to go into academia because then I can't be impacted with all this knowledge the, our motto for Queens is uh, for so much, what shall we give out? So if I'm going to be impacted with this much knowledge, I know that there are people in, way back in Ghana and Africa that need the language, knowledge to be impacted into them. So that we, the, the food safety agenda that we want to raise, we can bring more hands on deck to combat food safety issues in Ghana.